Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will talk about how you can set a database to single user mode in SQL Server. Let's go to notes. So there are certain restrictions uh, that apply. So let's go through uh, some of them. So if other users are connected to a database at the time we are setting a database to a single user mode, their connections to a database will be closed without any warning. So we need to keep this uh, thing in mind. So whenever we set a database to a single user mode, then uh, if any of the users are connected to that database during that time, uh, the connections for those users will uh, drop immediately and uh, this will result without giving them any warning. So you need to uh, warn them via some external means uh, to make sure that uh, they are informed. Uh, prior to taking the database into a single user mode and uh, the database remains in single user mode even after the user that set the option is disconnected from the system. So we need to make sure uh, after our work is done uh, after taking a database to a single user mode uh, we need to make sure that it is set to multi-user mode after our work is done. So at this point a different user but only one can only connect to a database. So in a single user mode, any of the users, but only one user connect, can connect to a database at any point of time if, it's, if a database is set to a single user mode. Now let us take you through a demo which will show you how you can set a database to single user mode using the SQL Server Management Studio and Transact SQL. Let's go to SQL Server and uh, let's show you how you can do this via the GUI mode. So we are inside the object explorer at present on the left hand side. So whatever database we want to take it uh, into a single user mode we will go to its properties and expand the section. Uh, we need to go to the options page. On the options page there is a restrict access category under the state option so currently it is set to multi-user so in order to set it to single user mode uh, you need to select single user and click OK after which your database comes into a single user mode so if we refresh the database section we will see that our sample DB has gone into the single user mode and the refresh is taking time so let's wait okay so it's taking time to refresh. Let's see. Don't know why the application is taking time. So let's wait for a minute. Okay, um, it's done and the sample DB uh, database is now in the single user mode. So this is how you can uh, perform this operation via the SQL Server Management Studio GUI mode. Let's take the database back to the multi-user mode. Somehow SQL Server is not uh, responding properly. Okay, so I think Okay, we are getting this error because it is This user is not able to log in into that database. We are getting constantly getting this. Uh, let's close the SQL Server, open it again. So we have set the sample DB as the default database uh, during one of our previous recordings. So we need to set it back to master, but let's see if it allows us to work. Okay, so for now the sample DB user is in single user mode. Uh, let's set it to. It is not allowing us to perform any operations on that. So system databases is also not showing us anything. Let's see if it is.
let's open up a new query and see if we can set the database default database back to master let's see if we can execute this query okay uh, let's see if we can change the it is not showing us anything let me see how I, I can rectify this so uh, guys finally we are able to open up a query window right now the sample DB database is in single user mode it was giving us uh, various errors uh, because the current user with which I'm logging in is set to use uh, sample db as the default database and multiple connections are not allowed so uh, the object explorer window is having one connection to the database and if we are opening another query window that uh, that will require another another second uh, connection to be opened to a database which was not allowed so that's why we are getting the errors so what we had done we had uh, reopened the sql server um, so SQL Server, once the SQL Server opens, if you get these errors, like the default database errors, just open up SQL Server, connect to the database, so it will allow you to connect uh, in the Object Explorer, so expand the databases, go to the System Databases, select the master one and open up a new query. Do not open any query against SampleDB as of now, because it will not allow you as the database is in single user mode. So at this point you can set the database back to the set the login uh, we need to use the master database as its default database so let me rename it copy out the stuff so put that in square brackets and with uh, I can say default uh, database equals master let's uh, use this one alright so let's execute this statement so database is now set to master so it will not give us any issues so let's disconnect from the database connect it again to this so this time we will not get any errors so the database is right now in uh, the single user mode we can set it to multi user mode uh, let me show you how you can do this using the GUI mode so you need to right click on the database go, its pro go to its properties and on the same section on the options page uh, go to the bottom section under the restrict uh, access category uh, you can select the multi user instead of single user to take database out of the single user mode so right now the database is, is in the multi user mode or multi user mode let me show you how you can perform the same steps using the SQL Server transact SQL statements so in order to do that you need to issue an alter database statement and you need to specify the name of the database which is sample DB you need to set it to uh, single user so use this uh, statement set single user additionally you can use the with uh, rollback uh, immediate option to roll back any uh, uncommitted transactions in the database so let's execute this now the database is set to single user mode let's refresh it here we'll see the sample db is not now set to single user mode another mode uh, which we can set this database to is a read only mode apart from the multi user mode so if we go to database properties uh, it's taking some time So again we started getting some errors so we need to close this uh, first of all all right so let's see if we are able to connect to it now yeah so after closing the query window we are now able to uh, check the properties of the database so we, we will go to the option section and under the option section under the restrict access category there are three options available to us we can 
make data mul uh, database mul in the multi-user mode we can set the database in multi-user mode in a single user mode and a restricted user mode in the restricted user mode we can specify we can set the database to be used by any specific user uh, any one particular user so for that we can use the restricted user option so let's cancel this out and uh, open up a new query against the master database and now what we'll do there's also one more option we can set the database to one mode that is the read only mode so here we are altering the sample db database we can set the set it to read only mode so this takes the database to read only mode alright so database is in read only mode so you see the database is in single user read only mode any writes cannot be made to the database at this point in time any updates to tables is not allowed at this time if the database is in read only mode now let's issue another alter database statement we are altering uh, sample db now let's set it to multi user mode let's see what happens after this so we have set the database to multi user mode let's refresh the so right now it is in the multi user mode but it is in read only mode let's see how we can take this out of the read only mode so let's see if there is any options showing up uh, whether it's in read only mode or something like that so there's a property database read only which is set to true we can take it back to false to take the database out of read only mode so right now the database is not in read only mode we can write to a database at this point in time so guys we are done with this video i hope you like this video uh, please do like uh, share and comment also please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon select all notifications to get uh, notifications regarding all my future videos thank you so much for your time on this video and you have a wonderful day ahead